What's up, freaks? It's Tex here, and today I'm talking about the darkness. And no, I'm not talking about the badass game from 2007, although I wish I was. No, unfortunately, the darkness in this case is an obscure horror movie that came out last year, starring Kevin Bacon, that I'd never heard of. In all honesty, I wish I still haven't heard of it. I know what you're all thinking. Well, Tex, with it's October. There's a bunch of other really good horror movies on TV. Why are you watching dog shit? And honestly, it's because I like to give movies a chance. Any idea sounded simple enough and cliche enough, though I thought maybe it would be mildly interesting. So the story goes like this. Kevin Bacon and his family goes on a vacation to the Grand Canyon. And while there, their autistic son Michael finds some strange rocks and he takes it home with him. Without telling anybody, of course. The stones turn out to be cursed, of course. And these strange beings start terrorizing the whole family. Although they take their fucking time doing it, seriously, I had never seen a horror movie with such little suspense. And you had such a basic, simple setup. All you had to do was provide some half-decent scares, some decent sound effects, and some not wooden acting. Unfortunately, we got none of that. Nobody in this movie does a decent job, and that's saying something because Kevin Bacon's in this movie, and he's actually a pretty good actor. This movie is bad. It's not so bad it's good, it's just so bad it's bad. Because it's not campy or goofy bad, it's just fucking... Everything is poorly executed bad. I give it credit for trying some few things. It tries to focus in on the family and their inner turmoil problems, but every problem that's brought up is quickly just fucking brushed away. Like the daughter, she's bulimic. She keeps buckets and stuff underneath her bed and she throws up like every single day. It seems like an interesting idea to bring up for some conflict, right? And they bring it up one time and it's quickly brushed off five minutes later. Which begs the question, why even bring it up? It doesn't amount to anything. It doesn't move the plot forward. Honestly, that scene is only there so that the autistic son Michael who sees these beings goes to the grandmother's house and then some shit happens. That's another issue with this movie. Your brain has to be turned off just so you don't question anything that's happened in this movie because there's a lot of things that just don't make sense. The biggest one being this. Their son Michael, who is autistic, they leave him alone like all the time in this movie. No, listen, I have an autistic cousin. I gotta tell you, you just can't leave them alone like they will get into stuff things will happen i don't care how high functioning they are it's just no one does that and on top of it all all the special effects are absolute dog shit okay some people might do that but in this movie a lot of strange shit keeps happening so it doesn't make sense on why strange shit happens and the parents and everybody else decides to just ignore it and to top it all off it has some of the worst CGI I've seen in a movie in a long time. This came out in 2016. If this movie was made by Bloomhouse and fucking from the producers of The Purge, why does it look like absolute shit? I gotta say, this movie was a complete waste of time, and honestly, I watched it, it just made me laugh. Just at how bad it was. It wasn't so bad it was good, it was just so bad it's bad that it's making me laugh. I wish I would spend an hour and a half doing anything else, but then again, nothing else probably would make me laugh that much. Anyway, freaks, thanks for watching. I'm Tex, and I'll catch you next time. Fuck this movie.